Okay, this video I'm going to show how to assemble the uh, Explorer Scientific Twilight One mount uh, just because it doesn't include the user guide and in case Explorer Scientific removes their one page sheet uh, user guide most people might be lost at certain few pieces perhaps. So we'll go over what parts are included in the mount. You have the tripod, the mount head, the uh, tension plate which also holds the eyepieces, the slow control, uh, uh, sort of micro motion, sorry, controllers, the uh, handles, uh, washer stack, pushing, E ring, um, the, the, the rod that holds the tension plate and also holds the mount head, and also you have this uh, camera adapter. So the first thing, we won't need this because this is not even needed for the whole mount. This is just the, an optional uh, thing they provided. So, just I'll show you the uh, pieces a little closer. Here's the E ring. And the bushing. One side is uh, recessed. And the two washers. So, at the side. And you notice that the micro motion um, rods here, one is shorter than the other, in case you, however you want to, um, or I guess, uh, set it up. So, first thing you want to do is uh, fold out the legs on the tripod. on the tripod there is a notch here. I recommend that this faces you so it's just easier when you mount the head. Um, let me show you the notch in case it's thing. See it's this metal notch here. Next thing I do is get the rod with the knurled knobs. Get the washer stack. Put it on here. Then get the tension plate. See? Then get the bushing and you want to put the recessed at the bottom facing down. See it now? So the top you can see is flat. Then you want to get ready with your E ring here. Let me move this closer so you can see the camera here. Now what you want to do is um You'll need both hands for sure. Let's slide the rod to the wall here. Oh, before we do that, let me show you. The rod has a little guy where the E ring will hold into. A little notch. And you get your E ring. difficult than it looks. There we go. So basically the E-ring just holds this tension plate. It makes it a lot easier when you're uh, putting the mount head because it's very difficult to hold the mount head and the, thing, and the uh, whole rod and stack at the same time. So now if you look in your mount head you'll see there's a a notch which is why you probably want to face it so it's easier so you can see the notch and line it up. So you just line this up here and you want to hold this and then you just screw the rod into place. 
place here. And while you're doing that, before you fold it tight, make sure this is lined up with the legs. like a little adjustment that you can tension up the plate against the legs. So it should be pretty stable. Okay. When it's done, we'll go ahead and just put on the handles here. These uh, handles just basically tighten, uh, they just tighten the, uh, like they lock the, uh, the, the motions up here. One's up here. So I'll just leave it loose, and one goes in here. And now when it comes to micromotion rods, uh, it just depends. You can have the short one here if you like, or you can have the short one up here. Um, I like having the short one on the top. And these are just thumb screws. That's uh, it. So now you have the um, micro motions control uh, rods set up. It's all tension tight so the lights don't uh, collapse. And it's pretty stable.